Hi everyone, this is Sandra Vale from Homesteading Ways. Um, I thought I'd do a real short video on uh, clover. My husband says he plans on mowing later this afternoon, so I had to hurry up and come out here and gather what I could. We have both the red or purplish clover here on your left and the white. Both are very high in vitamins and minerals. The red acts kind of as a photoestrogen, estrogen, so it's very good for people, women, with menopause. The white is great for respiratory. Uh, both of them are great for your lymph system. They're considered blood purifiers, so they're good for your liver, your digestive system. Um, I'll make sure to put a link with the... Uh, with the video so you can research it a little bit more yourself. I just wanted to show you how differently each of them grows even though the flower, the blossom looks similar. And when we're getting the uh, red clover, you want it nice and bright and red like this, but it's not fully open so we're not going to grab that one. Down here, it's already dying off a little bit so we're not going to do that one either. But right here, this looks good to me. I have a whole field of it out here. And I normally grab it right under here and just pluck. Take the top leaves with it. It makes a beautiful tea. Just, just wonderful. And then with the white, as you can see, the leaves don't grow up around the blossom. They're way down, kind of look like little shamrocks down there. The leaves on the white are, are good too, but for the sake of simplicity, I just grab the blossoms because that's where the majority of the good stuff is anyhow. So when you see this stuff blooming, you know, on your land, in your yard, mom and dad's yard, whatever, um, grab some. Keep it, dry it out. It makes a great tea. Look, um, look it up research it. See all the, the wonderful benefits of the stuff growing right under your nose. I'll be talking to you soon.